So, one of the things that's talked about everywhere, right, in JoJo scaling at least, is Poochie's infinite speed. I've received comments over the years that question, why didn't Poochie do this thing? You know, how why, how does he beat insert character here? Something about Giorno involved somewhere in there, I don't know. But we have to start this off with a foundation. While yes, uh, on Made in Heaven stance that, it does say infinite speed. It says speed and then infinite. Yes, that's true. But the ability is time acceleration. Time acceleration. It's not exactly a, a misconstrued statistic. It's just uh, understood incorrectly because I do see a lot of people that's just like, well, he just has this infinite speed and he's really fast. And that that's really not how it works. <sighs> For example, why doesn't Pucci blitz Emporio and just take him out? I've seen that before. And he was trying to. I don't think, I don't know if we've watched or read the same part, but he, he was trying to. That was, that was the thing that was happening. But Emporio's stand burning down the house allows him to navigate throughout the prison fairly easily. Pucci knows this, so he doesn't just you know blitz around everywhere. But, but at the same time, you know. But here's the thing. That was my original thought. Poochie knows about burning down the house. He knows that he has the ability to just navigate throughout the prison fairly easily. And he doesn't blitz everywhere, but at the same time, why can't he? It's like, wait, why, why, why can't he do that? He's really, really fast. And I think that's because while Poochie has the ability to speed himself up like it's nothing, his perception has some issues that we should address realistically. Because think about this. Jolene gets the drop on Pucci more times than he should really allow to because he's so fast. And yes, he does dodge like the initial surprise attack, but then he gets hit by another because, you know, that was the, that was the feint and he really got hit. So the question is like, wait, 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 wait. how is Pucci, who's really, really fast, still getting tagged? Like, how is he still getting hit? It shouldn't he stop this even though he got the drop on him? Like, what the heck's going on? Well, Made in Heaven is using the gravity of the entire universe to help increase the speed of time. He also moves so fast to the point where the entire universe resets at least once, which means, you know, the heat death of the universe, I guess, and I don't know how Araki goes about it, but yeah, it's the birth of a new one. That's that really sucks. fast. To get to the end of the universe, to the start of the universe, to get to the same place where you were before, that's all really, really fast. It's a, it, exponentially, it's probably like, probably to the 98th power or something like that. But I don't really think that Poochie's speed matches or gets anywhere near as close as what he's doing to the universe. As a biological person, creature, like as, as being a human, you know, his perception of time is the same as before. At least that's what I think is going on here. I think that if he was to see a knife coming towards him, he dodge, but if he can't see it, he's not capable of keeping himself from getting hit by it. And you might think, well, obviously, you know, like, well, well duh, yeah, if he got hit, he got hit. Well, consider this, you know, if it was someone like The Flash, and I understand that that's like really unreasonable because it's just like, oh, Flash is the fastest thing ever. Say that he got hit, like he got caught by something off guard, right? He'd still have the speed to stop it from happening and it wouldn't happen. At least there's, you know, like with the most ideal version of the, the Flash, no uh, writing stuff happening and all that. That's the case. Poochie can't do that. If Poochie doesn't know that something's about to happen, then it's already too late. He's done so. He can't undo the thing. And he also isn't fast enough to stop it from happening. I know that there are people that like to call this, like a plot and do stupidity or something along those lines, but this happens with Emporio twice. And Jolene, like, realistically, this is like three times. Poochie gets hit multiple times. He, he could have reacted to something to prevent it from happening. But, you know, at, at, at this point, this is a constant. We have multiple examples of this. This is, this is just the case. Poochie has the speed, but he can't react anywhere near as fast as his speed. It, that's it, that's just not the case. Well, what does that mean? Well, for one, we can't just chalk up everything to just infinite speed anymore. I feel like we shouldn't have really been doing that to begin with. It just it, adjusting his infinite set acceleration. You know that that's that's a thing. But it, this should change up the uh, I guess not the entire landscape of Pucci versus certain speedsters characters and characters that are just capable of similar feats and being really really fast because I think there's a lot of people that when they really want to look at Pucci versus insert character they're like wait now hold on Pucci's reaction time is terrible like I feel like that'd be 
normal for those people, but I don't know. <sighs> the determining factor on battles like this would be based on perception and reaction. How is Poochie gonna fight this guy, you know? And if Poochie isn't capable of reacting to people of his caliber of speed, he'd most likely not win the fight at all. And, and I know this is something that people find issues with due to the stand stats itself saying speed infinite like how else were we going to take that it says speed infinite that means infinite speed but we've gone to a point where we must consider that some of these stand stats really are just the stands stats rather than just like oh this is all together this is everybody oh we're all encompassing the stand user and the and the users the stand they're all same thing no you know Jabber brought this up with Gold Experience Requiem, and I honestly can't be that surprised if this is the case with Maiden Heaven 2, because while yes, it has infinite speed with the ability to manipulate the universe itself to that extent, it's not covering Poochie's blatant mistakes, right? One of the biggest things that we should be able to take note of is the rest of the stats too, if we're being honest, because, you know, his durability it hasn't really improved like that. Yeah. And he doesn't just get infinite stamina either. Like, 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 let's really remember that. Jolene was talking to him for real. She said, like, you know, Poochie's fine, right? But he still has to make the effort to travel these distances, which means that he's still capable of getting tired, even with all that speed. He has to travel that distance regardless. And if we're using that in the context of him trying to get to Emporio, think about it. That man is gassed, dog. He's tired. Even in the panel, you can see like the air bubbles around him. He's tired. He's winded. He's actually tired. Angry also. And trying to find something. Like imagine this. The state of this man. Imagine you, right? Getting home from work. And you, you or school, you know? And you have to just catch a mouse. It's just running everywhere. It's just like, oh man, oh, it's bouncing off the walls. Oh, like, I have to go do this thing. I'm already frustrated. It's not the best state of mind, you know? That image, the hilarious, uh, and I swear I'm not trying to downplay Poochie here, but you really have to put these types of things into question. I think we're at this point in JoJo scaling where while we do have these easiest picks for strong contenders, oh, okay, Wonder of You, shout out to Meadows, we have Star Platinum, The World, and King Crimson, Strong 2, and yada, yada, yada. But we should really consider the very few feats that we have for these characters. Like, a lot of JoJo's characters one of the bonus things is like oh hey it's great because like oh man you don't really have to the stories are in their own thing you know you don't have, a lot of time you don't see characters again and again like that at least core ones and sometimes because they die but because they have such few feats we should be really examining them because it's just like wow this we're not really working with a lot here and i understand that you know while jojo isn't a dragon ball type of thing and everyone wants to have their characters that win these scenario battles against each other it's good but we shouldn't be against the changing minds here or at least i don't know you don't have to change your mind i don't really know it's your choice though you don't have to do anything but uh, there's a lot to look at i think so we should probably look into a lot of these stands once again to really evaluate how much damage is this character really doing i think that'd be the right thing to do but i'm out of script you're out of time Hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot to me. And you heard me talk about Poochie. I don't, I don't want to say extensively, but it's a good amount, I guess. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed. But the ability is time acceleration.